Hello and welcome to another video. In today's video, uh, okay. In today's video, um, I'm going to be doing a drawing tutorial, which is something I've wanted to do for a while, but I haven't really gotten to do. So this one, I'm basically kind of doing. I'm going to be drawing different jobs, and there's going to be a few of them um, that I'm going to draw in this video. I'm going to draw two different jobs. Um, the first one is a doctor or nurse and both, all these are completely customizable. You can cu customize the gender, the hair, the clothing, anything. It just kind of teaches how to make the cute outline for the type of drawing that we're doing. So, um, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing, but if you don't know this, I am Joja. And I have a twin sister. Kind of cool. I have a twin sister. Um, and so for the second one, she's going to come in. And she is going to um, do the drawing for the second one. So you'll meet her today. Um, right now she's watching me. Um, but she's not going to talk. Because I asked her not to. She's watching me from my brother's bedroom, which is over there. Alright, but we're going to be drawing a nurse slash doctor. So, I'm going to turn my paper this way. Um, I'm going to start by making, at the top of the paper, a sort of U shape. I'm not going to finish it, so I'm going to do kind of like a that shape. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. Try to make it as even as possible. Yes, that is not working. Next, we are going to make a line and go up. Perfect. This is around what you want it to look like. Mine's not perfect. No one's ever will be. Um, so yeah, I'm just kind of fixing things up along the way as I go. But this is an unerasable pencil. That is so weird. Does this erase work? No. Okay, well... I'll have to fix that later. <laughs> um, but for now, we can leave it. You can leave any mistakes you have. Wait, there we go. I've gotten most of it off. <laughs> Hopefully, it's not too annoying. Next, what you're going to want to do is draw a smile. Doctors usually are super nice. My doctor is, at least. And so I'm going to just do a little curve for a nice kind of smile. And you can add any type of, like, uh, lipstick or, like, I don't know, if your doctor wears, like, bright colored lipstick. And I'm going to just add a little thing like this. You draw kind of an M shape. And then on the bottom, you draw a U. It's slightly smaller. So kind of like that is how you make lips for a cartoon. Um... Sorry, for a cartoon person, I'm going to be adding a little line with a curve. Kind of looks like a fishing hook, if you know what I'm talking about, because that is what a fishing hook looks like. By the way, I'm not sure how it'll look right now, because I'm talking as I'm filming this. And I'm filming it upside down, because that's the only way I could get it to film and look right. Um, so my hands look like they're coming the wrong direction where you can see me but yeah it's interesting what I'm doing um yeah so next for eyes for for the eyes I'm going to draw one second I forgot how I'm going to draw the eyes so for the eyes I'm going to draw a simple circle that was a little bit low but you know two circles on the face that one could have been a little bigger so I'm just gonna extend it because it will be black anyways in the eye part and then inside the eye you're going to want to draw one big circle and one slightly smaller when I say slightly I mean slightly because if it's too small it doesn't it just doesn't look right and I'm going to be coloring this with crayons because most people have crayons at home and I want a very accessible sort of video, kind of. Like something 
made out of things everyone has. So I'm using my black crayon and I'm coloring in around the eyes. Feel free to pause the video at any time though if you need a little bit of time, but that is eye number one. And this is eye number two. Perfect, they look so cute. I like eyes like this, they look very cute when people draw them. Wow, I just smudged, it's probably hard to see, I hope it's hard to see, but I just smudged black crayon all over the face of my drawing, which happens, which is okay. Next for the hair, I was thinking a, oh wow, the one part of my hair that's colored orange and pink, wait, pink is over here still, is the one part that came onto the camera. Yeah, dyed my hair. By the way, use Overtone. It works great to dye your hair and it's super natural. But moving on, that wasn't a sponsor by the way. I was thinking long black hair with um, with bangs. So I think that'll look cute. If you wanna add bangs, extend the face up a little higher than you think it should go, especially since your eyes are right here, but right here, really close smooshed down on the face you're gonna want a little bit more room for bangs. And you kinda just draw lines and then draw triangles up of all different sizes. And you can even do like super thin ones. Sometimes I just do a line and then it keeps going. I'm gonna do a few over here too. Okay. And then I like to have a big part in the middle because that's just what most bangs do. My bangs do that, you know. I'm going to do a line and some smaller ones. So those are the bangs completed. If you're just doing a head, that's great. By the way, do the whole face thing, but you can change the hair or whatever you want about the face to make it look like the type of person you're drawing or creating. I don't know, or maybe yourself if you're doing that. So next for the neck, you're gonna draw two lines, not very long, because necks on this type of character are not long whatsoever. So my neck is, sorry, my computer's right here next to my camera. So I, there was just something that popped up. I have to see what I'm filming. Um, yeah, so I drew two little lines, not even a centimeter large, like I swear so tiny very tiny they shouldn't be longer than the thickness of your pencil if you want them pretty long but i like mine tiny and short and then you can do a v-neck or a u-neck i don't know what you call them i'm doing a u-neck oh wait most doctors wear v-necks eh who cares but <laughs> yeah this is what I'm doing, you can do a V shape that goes kind of in a triangle, or this, which works good. Um, so next, what you're gonna want to do, I'm not drawing in the rest of the hair yet, because I wanna draw the whole body and all the details before we add the hair, because the hair is gonna go down to the body, and we have to make sure we have the body, at least base, drawn out first. So from where you started to make the U, you're going to make a line out no wider than the cheek on these characters because that's kind of style. Um, yeah, so you can draw two lines down and mine is going to do this weird, oh, wait, let me get this back this. Yes, a cheese moon. I hope you recognize that as cheese. <laughs> um, my arm is going to go in and then if you want to make it look like your arm is actually like separated from the body, um, not exactly at the top, but near the top, you're going to do a line down and near the elbow, a line across. And then I'm going to do one cuff. A cuff is like that part and just draw a rectangle right here. We'll get onto the hands later, but you can do that for any type of way the arm is and add your cuff. I'm going to make my arm a little bigger. 
Okay, so I added my cuffs and my arms. Um, and now, um, what you're going to want to do is... Okay, so we're done with that. Now, we are going to, from around where the neck is, you can do you can make two little lines to mark it out. So I'm going to do mine like that. I hope you can see them. They are these right here. These right here. Um, that is where the doctor coat sort of thing, coat, I don't know how to say, like what it is, robe, is going to start. So you are going to make a line down, and then it kind of does, it kind of does that, and it goes down very far. So in and out and it kind of goes down to like to their knees almost and then it kind of comes back so we're going to then make a line from the elbow down and that way if there is another doctor outfit like you want if you want to add like i don't know scrubs or whatever um you can um, but now, I'm going to go ahead, before I do the other part right here, because if you have a bent arm, you don't have to do that. But if you have a not bent arm, you have to draw the hand first. So, I'm awful with drawing hands. But you're going to do one, two, three, and four fingers, because five looks crazy. And I mean, like, like crazy. It doesn't look good, in my opinion, when you're drawing characters like this. So we're going to have the body, like end, like the the torso, stomach area, and right here, because the cloak has to go down on their legs a little bit. So we're going to just draw a line across, like you would for an, for the letter A. That's a nice letter A. But before I start working on the pants, we're going to work on the hair, the other hand, and the design on the shirt. We're going to start with the other hand. And so you may turn your paper, which I will do, and do the same thing from before. Awesome. Awesome job. If you did it, give yourself a pat on the back, because that hand is looking weird. But now we're going to work on the hair. All right. Get at the top and get your pencil here, and you can do this, and sort of, if you want your hair a little more choppy, shall I say, uh, you can add lines like that, and go down to as far as you'd like. And, All right, that is perfect. Her hair looks kind of funny. I like it though. It's cute. Um, next, it's time to work on the pants after we do the design. So, uh, before I go any, oh my god, I don't know if you heard that because it probably blocked out all background noise because that's what I do when I'm editing. But my nanny just sneezed, and I will tell you, it sounds like this. <laughs> Which is kind of, yeah, like you heard me. That's exactly what it sounded like. Um, although I love her. And we all laugh at how it sounds. Um, but yeah, one more thing before I go on. I'm going to add a little birthmark on her cheek. I don't know. I think it adds to the character if you have some kind of sign like that. Um, I'm going to add one of those... Uh, um, the, uh, yeah, um, what are they called? Well, here's a picture on the screen. Picture, picture. Here is a picture on the screen, if you'd like one, um, of what it is. I think they're stethoscopes? No. Doctor scopes. Yeah, we're going with that. But I'm not going to add one on, like, the, around her neck. I'm going to add one in her hand, because we have... Two hands, and both hands need to be holding something. Alright, so it's time for the pants, finally. Enough dilly-dallying, because I've been filming for a while now, and my, my sister, who, by the way, her name, i got to come up with a fake name for her. One second. 
What do you want your fake name to be? Mom said we're not allowed to put our real name. One second. I'll stop filming for a minute. Okay. Her name is L. That's my twin's name. Very cool. But we're going to start on the pants. So if you've ever seen a doctor, which I hope you have, because most people get sick in their life. So I hope you, I mean, I hope you don't get sick, but I hope you have seen a doctor before. Um, their clothes go, like, cloaks, doctor uniforms go, like, a little bit uh, wider than their pants are most of the time. So I'm going to just draw a leg start right here. And let us start right here so you have a little bit of extra cloak room. It sounds like I'm drawing Harry Potter, kind of. And then we're going to draw right here the part. I'm actually going to move the legs in a bit. I might have made it a little too wide for the character I had pictured in my head. Okay, so that works pretty well. Um, and we're going to just bring them down until they're the length you want. This picture is getting pretty long. Um, so I'm going to draw some socks. Um, I never looked at my doctor's feet before, so I don't know exactly what they wear, but you know. Yeah, and then I'm going to draw where the socks end and the shoes start. And for my shoes, I'm kind of just going to go with a plain, basic shoe. Um, so, yeah, you kind of just go down and stop, do a curve, curve, and then sort of straight curve. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, which... There, nothing I ever do is going to be twins. Like, if I do my eyebrows, because I do stage makeup and makeup myself, it, they're not going to be twins. If I draw shoes, they're not going to be twins. If I draw hands, eyes, or anything, they're not going to be twins. So, you know, I tried my best. kind of looks like one is a normal shoe and one is a work boot, but, you know. And then I'm going to draw the sole of the shoe in the bottom. And that's how you draw shoes. I'm not going to add laces because not all shoes need laces. I like the slip-ons, even though I can tie my shoes. Don't get me wrong, I can tie my shoes. Okay, so we are done with our doctor. Well, not done drawing it yet, but done with, like, the human part of it. Um, so next I'm drawing a upside-down U. Um, right by where her hand is and a line coming out from that and this is completely optional um, but I'm drawing a clipboard since you know doctors have clipboards and so on the clipboard it's turned backwards so all you can really see is this part but she does have a smiley face sticker on it so at least you know she's a good doctor um, and the last thing I'm going to add is the doctor's name tab, because, of course, you have to know who that is. And I'm going to write, um, J-O-J-A, Joja, on there. And for the design on her shirt, it's going to be a heart, nothing special. I don't, I don't want to draw anymore. I want my twin to take it to her turn. I'm not going to color mine, but feel free to color yours. So this is the completed doctor look. I just turned it upside down. Wow, genius of me. <laughs> so yeah, um, if you have a doctor you know, you can give these to them. But I'm kind of just going to keep mine. I like it. It's cute. I'm going to hang it up because I also have another drawing similar to that. It's a girl, you know. It's the same style. But on to my twin sister. By the way, uh, um, you're going to meet her. Um, I won't be there, though, because I have to go to school. Because school started for me, and this is the morning, if you can't tell by my voice. Um, 
but my twin is cut, cut, cut. Okay, so now it's my twin's turn. Yay, I don't have to draw anymore. Okay, I love drawing, but I can't be there while my twin's here, by the way. Sounds kind of suspicious. If you're wondering why, I have to go to my cooking class, which I can't wait to go to. It'll be so fun. I love cooking. Cooking, baking, all that sort of thing is fun. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, I won't get to introduce you to her, but we will have a video together soon, I promise. It'll be fun. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, bye, and on to my twin. Hi, my name is Elle, and I am Joja's twin. You know, pretty, pretty obvious. Um, in today's video, we are both drawing a sort of, like, um, a, uh, what are they called? A the, the job. Someone with a job. Sorry, I'm awkward on camera. I've never been in a video before. So, yeah, I am going to get started. What you're going to need is paper and a pencil, which I'm going to go get right now. All right, so um, I'm going to turn my paper vertical as well. And for mine, I'm going to be drawing... Dun, 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 drum roll, please. Yeah, I'm not doing that ever again. I am going to be drawing a, a chef, you know, a cook. Someone who cooks things. So, yeah, that sounds fun. And so I'm going to start with the same head shape as my twin did, my sister, Jojo, you know. Um, but it's going to be a little different since it's a guy that I'm drawing, a guy chef. I'm not saying, like, girls have to be doctors or guys have to be chefs, no. Because my sister cooks. She's actually at cooking class right now. Um... But yeah, so I'm going to draw kind of a more this shape face. I don't know, I like that more than that kind of, so I'm going to bring it in like that. Kind of, it, yeah, because guys have a bit of a different face shape. Do -do -do -do. By the way, if you're wondering, yes, we have the same streak in our hair dyed. It's a thing we do. Um, we also, sometimes, not today, um, wear the same outfits or similar, but, you know. Um, I, ow, oh, that hurt. Something just scratched me so hard. I think it was my trash can that's right under my feet. All right, but that's not the point. Um, next, I'm going to draw a smile, and it's going to be kind of an off-to-the-side curved smile with his tongue sticking out because he wants to eat it. Okay, yeah. And then the same type of nose, because that's the only nose I know how to draw, apparently. It's kind of hard uh, to draw any other noses, but... Um, yeah, so I'm going to draw two circles... Similar in size to the first one, and in the same exact spot, and two circles inside that circle. Now, she used a crayon, but she ended up telling me it was a little bit harder to use that, so I'm gonna, just going to use a pencil for the whole thing, and I think it'll turn out pretty well. I'm going to speed up the video. Okay, so I'm done with the eyes. Um, already, this character is looking just how I wanted it. And this chef, I'm going to make him a Caillou chef. He's not going to have hair. I'm kidding. That that would not look the way I had it planned in my head because these are supposed to be like kids as kids because, you know, she kind of looks like a kid. Wow, I put her in upside down. Wow, just, just lovely. <laughs> but I'm going to give him some hair. And I'm going to give him similar hair to how Joja has it, bangs. Just a little bit different type of bangs. Kind of like instead of spike up, spike down. And no parts that don't have spike. And there will be some parts that have like lines in them. Just one part, honestly. Um, 
and I love how his hair turned out. It's very cute. Now, I'm going to end up doing the, like, classic type of chef hat. Um, so, but it won't be as tall, because I started very high on my piece of paper, like, very high. So you're going to want to do two lines floating above the head. And you're going to start and make one puff, and two puff, which went off the top of my paper, and then three puff to connect it all together. I like this. I think it turned out pretty good. Now I'm going to take this and bring it up to where the hat is and bring this part down because, you know. And then there will be some more spikes right here where the hat gets placed on the head. And there we go. That is my chef's hat. It is very tiny. I thought it'd be way taller than it actually is but apparently not nope so I'm going to do two lines for the neck on our chef and I like it that's two lines about the length of my pencil and one second all right so I got a Starbucks drink it's good it's orange it tastes good like an orange crepe school. But anyways, um for the chef's like body part, I suppose I'm gonna make this a little longer. She hates long necks with this type of character, but I think they need at least a little neck or else they look like they're all scrunched up and stressed. Okay, so you're gonna do pretty much the same thing. Like, literally, almost the same thing. And I'm going to do the same kind of thing with the arm. Um, just this kid is a little shorter, I guess. Because I couldn't make it long enough. Um, but this is the chef's outfit. It looks like a, like a, one of those body suits that has one color. So, okay, um, so now, okay, now for the outfit, um, nice, alright, now for the outfit, I'm gonna do like that classic button-up fabulous chef outfit, and what I'm gonna do is make a line going down like this, and just a little up going like that, so it kind of makes a tiny little bit of a buttoned-up look and then I'm going to have well first of all I'm gonna draw um, short sleeves on this guy he's gonna have short sleeves because when I'm cooking I like short sleeves I'm gonna turn it and draw the hand before I do anything else I don't know what order Jojo did it in I'm sorry um, I would have remembered but I didn't want to <laughs> So I'm going to draw a line going down from here all the way down. And that is to make it look a bit more buttoned up. And I'm going to add the buttons. And I think they're going to gradually get smaller. That's how it is, right? They gradually get smaller. Well, that's enough buttons for me. I like it. And I'm going to have this outfit go down a little bit. And... Yeah, it's going to stop right here. Never mind. Okay, never mind, never mind, never mind. Never mind. Okay, we got this. We're doing this. We are erasing what we just did and starting fresh. It is like that. There we go. And then I'm going to give... I never know what the pants they wear. It's so weird. I don't know what pants they wear, but that's okay. I'm going to just think myself, you know, guess, and I'm going to guess they're just normal pants, like the doctor pants, just not doctor pants, because I'd be surprised if chefs wore doctor pants. I mean, they have a lot in common. You have to add stuff, take stuff away. 
I'm talking about surgery, aren't I? Cut stuff. No cooking stuff and doctor. <laughs> okay, and being a doctor. But there we go. And then I'm going to just take it, take another guess and guess that chefs like to wear flip-flops. And that's kind of how I'm going to draw a flip-flop. I mean, honestly, I've never drawn a flip-flop in my life. But, you know, always a first time for everything. Berenstain Bears. Quote of the year. I don't know. But yeah, the Berenstain Bears said that, so. It must be correct. And then I drew, I'm drawing a foot in, and. Perfect. It's so cute. I love it. All right, next we're drawing in the other fingers. Oh, wow, he has some stubby fingers. Let's just say he chopped some off. That is not pretty. Okay, wow. Um, so nice. This is how my chef turned out. I really hope you liked my chef because this is my first video and the first time I've drawn in front of someone. I don't like drawing in front of people, but I thought I'm drawing in front of a camera. And it wasn't as scary as I thought. And I like how my drawing turned out. So the two jobs we have today are doctor and... Uh, wait, wait. The two jobs are doctor and chef. And I think it turned out pretty good. We're just going to go ahead and say they were siblings. Because you know, that is pretty, pretty accurate thing to say. Um, but make sure to subscribe and like the video. And in the credits or description of this video, there will be a link to my sister's website. And I want you to check that out and join the mailing list on that website. Because uh, then you'll get notified whenever we post a video, which we also add on there so it'll show you. And I hope I can be in another video. So bye guys!